slay, I slay, I slay, I slay, I slay, I slay. Oh hell no! The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Shout out to them people, 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 people. Hey guys, so jumping right in, I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow duo brush and I'm using the spoolie side just to brush my brow hairs into place. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC eyebrow pencil in the color Spiked, which is like a dark brown. And I'm going to use very small strokes just to trace the outline of my natural brow. And I only get my eyebrows arched like two times a year, so in between that, I kind of just clean them up myself. Once I finish that bottom line, then I go in and I fill in the middle and make sure I trace out the top shape of my brow. And I try not to touch the inside closest to my nose. I do go over it a little bit, but I do not go heavy on that inside area. And once I have my desired shape, then I'm going to go back in with the spoolie and kind of just brush all of that product in. And then I'm going to be taking my absolute favorite game changer brush. This is the MAC number 212 and my Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color NC45. I just use one pump of that and I'm going to um, conceal underneath my brow and I also go on top of my brow with the same um, Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I know like sometimes people like to use their foundation to do this. Um, it's just easier to blend or it looks more natural. But I do prefer for my eyebrows to have that little pop that you get when you use like a concealer that's maybe a shade lighter than your skin. So I will be using that to conceal both the top and the bottom line. This brush literally like changed the game for me. It makes it so easy and the product goes on so smooth. Like I've tried other brushes. I've tried angle brushes. Like this brush, it saved my brow life forever. And once I'm done concealing my brows, I'm going to go in with this random brush. Literally don't even know where I got it from. I found it in my makeup box, but it works perfect for what I'm trying to do. So I use this to blend out the concealer and I try to do this as quick as possible because once this concealer dries, it is really hard to blend out. And once I'm done blending all that product in, I'm going to go back in with my spoolie brush to that intersection and just kind of blend that out so it goes from light to dark and looks a lot more natural. And for my last step, I'm going to be taking my Great Lash Brow Gel and I'm going to be using this on my brows to help keep the hairs in place. And it also helps define them just a little bit more and gives it a more natural look. And this here is my finished brow. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my second brow as well. And then you guys will see the finished product. Man, I just want to go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck. And I'm so cold with the flex. From the squad and I'm smoking up a check. Man, I just want to go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck.
look of my brows i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video